DVD ever TV back at y'all with another one. Today we're gonna talk about the time Maserati Fox saved G Unit member Hot Rod from Jimmy Henchman. Now let's get into it. <laughs> Mixtapes and DVDs is my era Facts. We did it better yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers Facts. ACG Boots uh. We 80s babies Ooh. In early 90s When it got grimy I was out of this world You could not find no. me Unless you checked the lobby Hustling was my hobby Damn. We was lobby boys yep. Before Jim Jones You could catch me at Harlem Eating Jim Bones uh. Now when G-Unit and Jimmy Henchman was beefing, a lot was going on in them streets from Yayo mother house being shot up, from Yayo's Bentley being shot up after Maserati pulled out a gun on Jimmy Henchman and Apollo, and from Lodi Mac being lined up after Jimmy Henchman's son was smacked. A lot was going on in them streets. Now we all seen and heard about beef in the hip hop game, but this was one of the more serious ones. They both were standing on their business and they both was getting busy on each other. Definitely could have got real ugly. Now, around this time, Hot Rod was a new member of G-Unit, and he was making a video for a song called Bump My Ish, and he was shooting his video in Brooklyn. Now, only thing about him shooting his video in Brooklyn was Jimmy Henchman is from Brooklyn. And around this time, Jimmy Henchman was beefing with G-Unit, and anytime Jimmy Henchman got the whereabouts on a G-Unit member, more than likely, he ran down on them. So basically, Hot Rod is in Brooklyn shooting a video for this record with Scenario, and he's blind to the whole fact of the serious beef that's going on. And that's when he get the phone call from Fox, and Maserati Fox is just like, yo, where you at? He like, yo, I'm shooting this video in Brooklyn. He like, yo, you crazy? I'm already getting word that you in Brooklyn. You know we got beef with Jimmy Henchman. Like, that's his hood. You wildin'. Now, according to Hot Rod, Maserati Fox pulled up deep and a few cars deep, actually, with his guys and hopped out on him like, yo, you bugging out. You know we got some beef going on. And basically got Hot Rod up out of there. And, you know, he took Hot Rod to his studio and some other places to shoot the video. And it actually came out dope. And if you look at the video... Trav and Maserati Fox is actually in the video. Now, just being truthfully honest, if Maserati Fox ain't pull up and come get Hot Rod, <laughs> more than likely henchmen and them would have been on him and something would have happened to that boy that day. Just my opinion. Because that's what henchmen was doing at the time. You know what I'm saying? He basically get word of where they at and he pulled up. Like the time they were shooting a video in Jersey, he found out he pulled up and followed one of the cars back home to New York which actually was G-Unit bodyguard car. And you know, he got in the back seat and tried to squeeze at the bodyguard, but his gun jammed. So he definitely was about that action on him. So something definitely would have happened if Maserati Fox ain't save Hot Rod. Now, everything I spoke on in this video was all public information. You could pull up Jimmy Henchman's whole trial, his whole case, and you can hear a lot of these stories. I mean, it's definitely like a movie, and they definitely can make a movie out of this whole situation with him, so... Just a quick little video, but anyway, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. More content coming, and I'm out. One.